Oh my goodness, y'all. Oh my goodness. Things is getting real. Shit is getting real. Anyway, it's your girl Dazzle at Tarot. And I'm back for another tarot reading, okay? So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. So you can be notified when I upload and when I go live. So as y'all know, I took about like a week and a half. Well, what was it? No, nah, it was two weeks off from work, from life. Went on vacation, minding my business. And basically, I'm back and I'm working so many doubles, okay? You know, and everything else. <laughs> I mean, I had PTO out the out the behind. I had like what, two hundred and seventy four hours of PTO, whatever the case may be. And basically, um, I have to use it before October first, or you lose it, right? So I'm going to be off some more weeks in the coming months, right? So anyway, but as of right now. My butt is working like a workaholic. I got to be back at work at 11, but I do have some time to do another reading. So, please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell. And if you would like to book a private reading, all you have to do is go in my description box. And there's one thing I have to do. I have to do a private reading for someone. And that person knows who I'm talking about. And I can't tell you who it is, but I have to do it for them. And I was going to do it like Bobby Samini said, pro bono. <laughs> but anyway, because that's a long story. And when I do get some time and I'm off and ain't nobody in the house, me and y'all going to have an open discussion about a lot of stuff. But anyway, but back to the point. Um... What I do here, I'm an intuitive reader. Everybody knows that. Um, intuitive is I feel. <laughs> so, basically, I feel, allegedly. But, mm, alleged isn't a fact. It's, you know, allegedly, right? But if I'm telling you I feel, that's the fact that I feel, right? <laughs> or what I pick up, right? Spiritually, intuitively, right? So, whatever. Whatever. I don't give a damn. Because I'm saying all this because I'm talking about Nosy Hope's lawyer that decided to take her case named Bobby Samini against Nicki Minaj. As you know, Nicki Minaj wants to def um, wants to sue for at least 75K in, fev in federal court for defamation because Nosy Ho, the exact thing on the paperwork is Nosy Ho called her a C-O-K-E head, coke head, um, and basically she's being uh, funded by some entertainer that had the nerve to think that they was equal, and why would you even put that on on paper? No, I don't know, but anywho, but her lawyer said something, and he did speak a word. A lot of other people said that, but they wanted to point her out because they know that she don't have no money. And not only that, she was attached to Jennifer Hugh. And basically, they was going to do it because it's like a bully in the playground. Let's do the weakest link. Let's mess them up severely. You know what I'm saying? So, all the outside bruises, everyone else will see and be like, oh, big bad Nikki. You know. But that's how it works. But at the same token, he even talked about how he asked Nosy Ho, will she apologize about calling Papa Bear? I mean, about saying what she said about Papa Bear. And I said, okay, that's cool. You know, because at the end of the day, if you're wrong, just say you're wrong. I'm sorry. It ain't no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Ain't, it, ain't, it ain't the end of the world to own up to mistakes and apologize and keep moving forward. Now, if you want to stick... Now, after she apologizes... Afterwards, she's released of that, right? So, but if someone wants to hold on to that, that's spiteful. Also, he said something else that actually does make sense. You know, when they talked about that you need a decent a cease and desist, well, you don't need one to file. But however, when you give a cease and desist, what he's saying is that basically it shows that, look, you want to just, you know, find closure uh, come to an agreement, understanding, work through it, whatever, right? You don't want to have to go through all that. It's not aggressive. They're just saying, well, look, you said this. I don't like this. Um, can you just please stop? That is mature. See, but he said, and that is a highlight as well, he said the fact that Nicki Minaj didn't do that 
shows how aggressive she's going towards her. So it's not even about you wanting closure or wanting balance or anything. You really just want to be aggressive. And like I told you in my last reading, I it felt like she wants to silence people. It's not about it's not about coming to some type of closure or understanding. No. It's silencing. It's silencing and the fact that he said, yeah, I want to do Discovery because I want to know how many other people that Nicki Minaj has and her team has bullied. Let's bring it all out there. And people tried to make it seem like, oh, he was being um, messy or he's talking too much. No, the crime, the drama happened on the Internet. Nosy Ho said whatever she said on the Internet is already out there. Okay? And not only that, I mean... If you ain't got nothing to hide, why can't we talk about it? It's just honest. You know what she said. You know how nosy hoe got down on the internet. There's nothing to hide. There's nothing behind the scenes going on. Everything is out there already. That's for one. For two, you know, of course, Nicki Minaj is a high profile person. And if you don't keep it in the forefront, they can do something to her behind the scenes, allegedly, right? And what nobody knows. So the best thing to do with a regular person, a civilian like you and I, is to make sure it's always out in the open. That's protection. Okay? Don't let nobody do stuff to you behind the scenes or, you know, on the low. I always tell people that. People try to do stuff to you when nobody's looking. Because they don't want to be found out that they're doing the things that they're doing. So the best way to combat that a lot of times is to put on blast always do it out in the open mm -hmm. that's what they tell domestic violence you know people that's going through that type of thing you know if you can make sure you're in the open or like if you're by yourself just or like other people like if you're a female and you live alone or you go to work by yourself don't go on those streets or, you know, in the alleys or something at a certain time. Always be in the open. Like, if you can. Like, if you got to be at a bus stop, you know, this is all topic. But if you got to be at a bus stop, be at one with a lot of lights. You know what I'm saying? You know, protect yourself in that way. If you're meeting somebody new, if you meet somebody offline, meet them in the open. Okay? Meet them with a lot of people around. Everybody better see your face. Cause you don't know what people do, you know what I'm saying. But that's what I'm saying. That's 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 that type of energy, right? But anyway, but I, what I want to know is because they was trying to say that oh he's doing the pro bono to get his name out there, and if I remember correctly, he's been a lawyer for twenty plus years, and he's been an entertainment lawyer, a celebrity lawyer. So, he's saying that it's kind of good that he gets to represent someone who's on the opposite side, who's not a celebrity, who's a regular person, who cannot afford it because of economic issues. Now, I can understand that, okay? It could be whatever, but I can understand that. And then when I looked at his Instagram, because I followed him on Instagram, because I'm a nosy person, um, I looked at it, and he is an advocate. He's, I think he's from Iran, but... He's an advocate as well. So he's been talking about political prisoners in Iran and things like that. So I kind of feel like I see where he's going with that. Because you notice how some people take a shift in their um, career after a certain time. Like, I kind of feel like, and this is just me intuitively picking up. I kind of feel like he's been an entertainment lawyer for a time. For a long time and he's made his money. But I think he feels like he wants another calling or where he wants to advocate. Okay, that's what I'm getting at, cause that's what it looked like on his channel, on his um Instagram page, and what he's saying it sounds right. So I think he's legit, and I don't think he's hard up for money. I don't, because you know I was looking at his pictures, and you know how you look at pictures and you look at the background. I'm like, that's a nice house. His kids look well taken care of, and his kids has nothing to do with anything. But he looked like, you know, it looked like he paved his own way, already made gen uh, generational wealth for him and his family. And, you know, at this time, it's like a shift of energy. Maybe he wants to be more, um, what is that? What is, what is that word? Like, 
What is that, philanthropy? No, it's not. I forgot that word. I'm early. Okay, but look. I'm just shuffling this deck really, really good. I'm going to use this black tarot deck. And basically, what I'm going to ask is, is he genuinely wanting to help Nosy Whole Live? And will he win for him? Will he find up? Uh, and I won't even say win. Because it's not just about winning and losing. Sometimes it's the in-between. Will he find a sweet spot for Nosy Ho to come to a conclusion with Nicki Minaj that caused the least amount of damage in this situation? So that's what I'm going to ask. Wow. Okay, so does he really want to take on Nosy Ho's case? Is it sincere? Or is he just an ambulance chaser? That's what that's what a lot of people want to say. But he doesn't have to chase no ambulance if he's already made this money. One, two, three. So, we'll do it one more time. So, Bobby Samini, is he genuinely wanting to help Nosy Ho? One, two, three. Does he genuinely want to help Nosy Ho? The chariot is in the reverse, okay? The in the justice is in the reverse. The musician is upright. So I'ma just based on these three cards, I'ma just tell y'all this. Okay, so he can see that nosy ho has blockages. Okay. The chariot is in the reverse, it can be aggression. Someone trying to force the wheel. Someone trying to take control of the wheel. Okay? But it's all about someone trying to take control and force. And, some, and you know, there's no iron lead, right? But basically, it's to knock someone else out from the wheel. And someone else takes control. Right? So, it's kind of forceful. It's kind of messed up. Right? Um, but this is derailment. This is blockages. I feel like he knows Nosy Ho won't win that case without no help. Okay, that's what I get. Because I get the Justice card in the reverse as well. I kind of feel like, he kind of feels like Nosy Ho don't have it. I also feel like he feels like Nosy Ho is being railroaded. I actually kind of feel like also he feels like Nosy Ho. Okay, she said what she said, but... Okay, she got derailed. She had a time on, whatever. But also, when it comes to Nicki Minaj, she's trying to ride this narrative. She's trying to ride this car, you know. It's crazy. But, um, don't get me wrong. And see, what y'all don't understand is that when I'm reading y'all, y'all trying to make it seem like I think stuff is okay. No. I don't think whatever she said about Papa Bear was cool. No. You don't want nobody saying that about your kid. I get it. Whatever. You know. Even though in the comment section I said there is research study about um, sexual deviance and genetics. Okay? Y'all should look it up. I'm just saying. But even which way it's not nice to say to a child about a child or over a child. You know what I'm saying? Um, that part. But that can't be. You can't sue for that. So... But this justice card is in the reverse. It's imbalanced. He sees the imbalance in this case. Exactly what he said on my Megan's Wiggins show, he absolutely believes. Because he sees the imbalance in this case. You're suing someone with nothing. Okay? Because you know you can win. And not only that. You want to be able to win so you can wave it in other people's face. Like, look, see, I sued this person in one and this and the third so you can prove a point. But you chose the weakest link. And not only that, you also knew that she had conversations with Jennifer Hope and she and Hugh and you let and she let her on her platform. Okay. Like that's just like Garcelle. If you really feel like Garcelle did so much messed up stuff to you, how come you're not suing her? Because in actuality, the only thing she did was sit down and allow Jennifer Hill to speak her mind. And she interviewed and did her job. That's the truth. 
But there's an imbalance and there's an the injustice there because that is a perversion of the justice system. Okay? For people to do that. I understand you can sue anybody you want to, but however, when you do stuff like that, it kind of feels like you're doing it because you know you can win and you want to be a bully. Um, don't get me wrong. Whatever. You're doing it because you know you can win and she ain't got nothing. So, it kind of feels like a perversion of the justice system. This magician card is up right though. He's the magician. He's going to make it. This is effective communication. This is pulling things down from the ether and turning it into the reality, okay? Manifestations. Um, but it's upright. If it was in reverse, I'd say he wasn't good, right? But he's in the upright, though. So he's not wrong. He just knows how to make things happen. And you want a lawyer that's a musician, <laughs> okay? You want a lawyer who would turn this chariot upright, who would turn the justice card upright, okay? The magician comes in, right? And he's the one with the force. So he's honest about what he's doing. Okay? Okay, so will he will Bobby Samini help Nosy Ho as far as at least finding a sweet spot that caused the least amount of damage to Nosy Ho. So both parties can put these things beside them and move on. Will we be able to do that? One, two, two. Okay. The five of wands in the reverse. A good thing. Ending conflicts. We will end this dispute. Mm-hmm. Eight of spears. He's going to work towards it. Period. He's honest about that. Eight of Spirits is about doing the work. If and if you keep on going, you're you're going to get a payoff. Okay, so it's about ending conflicts and working towards something. Right, and then the Two of Wands. This is all about a new beginning. I kind of feel like yeah, there's going to be options in the back. The Three of Pentacles. He's putting his grand support in this. I kind of feel like yes. I kind of feel like that. Yes, 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 yes. I feel like he will. The end of this was this, the Ace of Swords. This is clarity, a new conversation, okay? Um, this is truth. He's going to come with truth, okay? That's his tactic. Y'all want to know? That's his tactic, come with truth. And a new beginning. And um, I also feel like he's going to overall give a new perspective to this case with this hangman in the reverse. I also feel like with the judgment... Is it his favor? I feel like he's going to come... Like I said, it's, a, it's either a sweet spot that will cause Nosy Host the least amount of damage. You know, that she can still make her life. You know what I'm saying? Um, the problem is there's, like right now, there's some things that need to change in order for things to go to a new cycle. For it to transition, okay? So the obstacle is that. So maybe it's getting the information and getting the whole thing together because it's fairly new that's what it is but out of anything you got the ace of swords upright this is clarity okay understanding i don't feel like you know at the end of the day win lose what i will say is it will be a sweet spot okay the truth will prevail the truth is uh, it's many things that can be true at the same time but the truth is it sounds like a fight a cyberbullying internet fight. That's what it is. Period. Between a regular person and an A-list celebrity. That's what it sounds like. And it's been exacerbated by people who want to follow behind certain people. That's what it is. Okay. So. I kind of feel like, yeah. But give me some stuff for him now. I feel like is he transitioning his life mission, his mission in life? Because it went from, because I don't think it's always been, you know, because you, like I said, you know how when you get older, you end up, you know, going after your life purpose. And if that is helping humanity in a way, that is you doing those things. Like, cause, and then he looks a little older. So, I see where that can happen. You know what I'm saying? 
So is he going after his life purpose? What's going on? Uh, and he's Iranian. See, I do like the one thing I like about Middle Eastern um, advocates. Advocates is that they're very serious about their um, life purpose and life work. You know, you kind of see them with. Um, you kind of see those type of people at the World Peace Summits and stuff. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I eventually see him on Al Jazeera Al Jazeera. Y'all know that on um, YouTube channel when they talk about global news and political prisoners and you know genocide and all types of crazy stuff. So, is he going to go towards that? Because I kind of feel like that's a calling for him. I feel like he's going to go towards that one. Well, Two, three. Yes. He got the justice card upright again. So I feel like he's going to go towards that. He wants to fight. He wants to fight um, the good fight. So I feel like he, when you lose a draw with Nosy Ho, I kind of feel like it's just a transition. And it's just part of that transition. Because I think he probably, oh, wow. I hope he don't go back overseas and stuff. You see, I don't, I don't trust Iran and, and, and all them people over there because they like to lock people up. They like to do dirty stuff to people over there. But I kind of feel like as he gets older, um, I already know that he's older, but I kind of feel like he wants to branch out and do stuff like that, okay? So it's bigger than Nozio. So with him, I don't feel like he's an ambulance chaser. I feel like he really wants to help humanity. And I kind of feel like you're going to probably see him um, trying to focus on, you know, political prisoners or, you know, women's rights over seas and stuff. To be honest, you know, there's many people like him that do the good fight that we don't know about because we're so busy worried about Nicki Minaj and who said what about her. But it's bigger than that. It's a bigger world out there, people. Get off of YouTube. Well, get off the YouTube channels that you're on. Stop listening to pro Nikki channels and listen to Al Jera Hyde or Al Jera Hyde or whatever the case may be. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Look at some stuff that's beneficial and gives you knowledge. Stop worrying about what's going on with Nicki Minaj and her husband. See, I I I, I read about it, but that's because it, you know y'all like y'all like to see that. But sometimes it's interesting. But the overall thing I be trying to tell y'all is stop being followers, okay? Stop worshiping people, okay? Like, just because someone is a certain way don't mean you have to kiss their ass, okay? Period. Find the God in you. Find your life purpose. You know, Mr. Bobby Samini, he's finding his life purpose. And guess what? He's been very successful in his work. And he's out here about to really start doing the good job. Okay, be him. Be him. Because I actually admire that. Okay. Um, and I wish him safety too. Because the stuff, the stuff people really go through fighting for rights and justice in this world, they get killed over that. Okay. We know this. We know this with the civil rights movement. So imagine how it is in the Middle East. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Alright. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all. Peace.